This is a podcast from News Talk Radio 710 WOR. Hey, folks. Telephone number is 800 321 0710. Promised you earlier, um, I'm going to be speaking to uh, my friend Michael Port, the author of a whole range of books that I love and they've been helpful to me. Off the air, my other life is as a motivational speaker and I do a lot of executive coaching and writing about leadership and business, and I check out my colleagues who do similar work. And a guy who's a lot better than I am, a guy who's terrific, is Michael Port. Uh, his favorite book uh, of mine is called Book Yourself Solid, and his uh, companion to that is Book Yourself Solid Illustrated. It's, uh, it's a book that takes his Book Yourself Solid and shows pictures that people like me can follow. And it is just great stuff to motivate you and help you think more clearly about your business and about how you're handling your business and be more successful. And if you want to get on the conversation, the number is 800-321-0710. And check out Michael Port's uh, website. Just It's Michael Port, P-O-R-T. And he's also got a great Facebook page that I just check out all the time. And it's just great stuff. It's got like 14,000 people following him. It's good stuff. Hey, Michael, you on the line, buddy? I sure am. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, happy holidays to you. Thank you. You too. Hey, uh, Michael, listen, um, while people may want to talk about Obamacare and 2016 as if it's around the corner for the presidency, I'm more interested in 2014 and the fact that a whole range of people are thinking about either improving their business or starting their own business or just frankly thinking about business and themselves in a more productive way. And it's what you help people with all the time. And one of the things that it strikes me uh, that you're really good at is helping people get more in line with who they are, not just in terms of who they are as people, but what they bring to the table in terms of helping other people and connecting where they can be helpful to the world and to other people and how they can be successful in business. Am I making, does this sound too philosophical? No, not at all. I mean, I think the, the way we see the world is very, very important with respect to the things we want to do. So philosophy, I think, is a very, very important place to start. You know, this time of year is tough because so many expectations are set for the new year, and often expectations are just resentments waiting to happen. If we don't have strong commitments that we are going to fulfill around the things we'd like to do, also known as expectations, right. then we're often going to disappoint ourselves. And then we will continue to see the future predicated on the past. We say, well, it didn't work before. It's not going to work again. I tried it before. I'm not going to try it again. And so the question is, how important are the things we say we want to do? And if they are important, are we willing to make big public promises so that we are more likely to fulfill? You know, Michael, I'm going to bring I'm trying to bring this down a little to more granular level. You have a quote in your book that mm, I want to take I want to put it out there because it's going to challenge people. You quote a colleague, uh, uh, Dave Buck, from Coachville.com. You say, quote, most business problems are really personal problems in disguise. I'm going to try this again. Most business problems are really personal problems in disguise. And in your book, Book Yourself Solid, that I have by my nightstand, I'm always marking up, you talk about a whole range of your uh, some of your clients who have business problems, and when you really delve deeper, it's about what they didn't get from their father or their mother or what happened to them in school as a kid. Or Is it really, is our business life that much affected by our personal lives, Michael? It sure is. I don't see a difference between the two, really. So, for example, let's say that you are constantly looking for approval. And if you're constantly looking for approval, approval becomes more important than the results that you get. So you're likely to take actions that just get people to say, oh, yeah, you did a really good job, you did a really good job. But you're not necessarily producing the results you need to thrive as a business owner. Let's take it to a really simple level. Take organization, for example. Right. If you have a real problem with organization, that's going to show up in your business. And if you have a very disorganized business with no processes, no systems, it's hard to grow a business like that. So there are little, little, little things that we can call problems like organization, or there are bigger pathological issues uh, like the deep need for approval that can get in the way. So 
you know, the, the things that are not uh, pathological in nature, that are just simple problems that all of us have, there are the things we're not necessarily good at. And we need to make sure that we are finding a way to manage against those weaknesses. And how do people, for those who are not feeling, someone says, hey, you know what? I would love to start a new business in 2014. I just don't have the confidence to do it, you say. Sure. Well, confidence, I think, is built by learning in action. I don't think that if we just read books or you know, just meditate on trying to think positive, you know, I don't think that stuff is going to put the real the confidence in our pocket the way we need it. We need to learn in action. So what I learned today, I put into action immediately. And then as a result, I see what works and what needs improvement. And then I can learn tomorrow, and what I learn tomorrow, I'll put into action the next day. And as a result, you gain more confidence that you don't have to know everything in the world before you go out and try the things that you want to do. Hmm. By the way, Michael Port, uh, tell everyone about your Facebook page, because I was on it the other day. And what's, what I love about your page, Michael, um, is that it's really useful. Michael doesn't try to sell you anything. What he get, does is give you information and says, this is helpful. Take it and use it. Tell everyone about your Facebook page. Sure. Uh, it's really easy. Just my name, Michael Port, facebook.com forward slash Michael Port. And um, I, I try to write uh, uh, articles uh, for the page, uh, helpful resources, links, and whatever I can do uh, to make people happy. You know, I'll, I'll even post a joke <laughs> once in a while. And they're not that funny, but I'll do my best. And, and by the way, Michael posts when he is on, he's been on our program on PBS uh, one-on-one that we do out of Lincoln Center in New York. He'll also post, I'm sure, about this uh, appearance on WOR, uh, New York's new WOR 710. Um, people go back and forth with you, and you engage them in conversation on that Facebook page. I noticed that. Yeah, of course, all, all the time. I mean, look, if, if, uh, let, let's just take it, if, you know, if somebody's a business owner or if they are uh, working for another organization but they want to be good at networking, they want to develop relationships, these social media sites – uh, are about conversation. So yes. I'll try to put something on there that will spur a conversation between me and the people that I serve who are um, who like that page and the people who uh, are, are, are on that page together. So they talk to each other. I talk to them. Now, so it's not a one-way street. It's not a monologue. No, it's not a monologue. And, and marketers that think uh, that their marketing is a monologue uh, tend to be very isolated. Hey, folks, uh, Michael Port, Book Yourself Solid, and his uh, companion to that, Book Yourself Solid Illustrated. Great stuff. He has a whole range of other books as well. He has been a colleague of mine, uh, someone I've learned from. I love what people who think, yeah, I already uh, know enough about business and leadership, and, and I'm doing fine. I say, those people are in trouble, because when you <laughs> stop learning and you stop wanting to know more, <laughs> that's when you are in big trouble. Michael Port's one of those people who believes in constant learning. So, Michael, I want to thank you for being with us here on uh, New York's new 710WOR and being a friend and a colleague and uh, joining us so early in the morning. and wish you nothing but the best in the new year. Thank you. You're such a good guy. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it, Michael. You've been listening to a podcast from News Talk Radio 710WOR.